Hey, this is uh, Impala LFX13. It's been a while to make a video. I'm uh, currently in my basement. Uh, I'm not outside in the garage because winter has been just so bad. But here I have for you, I'll try to get it as much as I can, the complete suspension and brakes um, that I'm going to be doing in about hopefully in a month. Um, I'll uh, provide all the information, uh, part numbers and so on. Um, I think I got it pretty much in order uh, from the cups to the mount, bushing. These are the Canuck motors, uh, Motorsport Springs. They're a 1.8 drop in front, 1.6. Uh, currently I have the the rake look with the ZZP but um, I'm gonna increase the height of the rear uh, a little bit uh, down the front so it helped me off the line even further at the track I also for the struts I went with the Monroe uh, severe service uh, struts at four corners uh, the reason is um, it, they're very heavy duty um, uh, construction and the, the, the way the 10 stage valving are are inside the uh, the unit itself if you're looking for a plush ride don't take those go go with the sensor track or something else uh, also in the back um, I have the ZZP Chromoly trailing arms. For those who know, the uh, factory ones are like a hope and see flimsy metal. Uh, these ones are solid, full around. They, they, they don't twist. I'm also going to replace my rear uh, brake lines. Uh, these ones are from Rebesto's PG Plus, uh, the professional grade. I, uh, I find that the initial bite is very strong on the front and in the rear it lacks a bit so on my old Z I, I replaced the rear uh, brake lines and it did help uh, a bit um, for the, the braking parts and outside of that it's um, I got these ones are the Mevo Tech for the, the, the sway bars and I also here it doesn't show but somewhere in the garage I have the Moog um, bushings uh, frame to uh, sway bar front and back also I'll provide the description also on the uh, the description and uh, these are the power stop uh, these are the, the the police break upgrade they're like the 320 um, I think it's 20 323 millimeter or 12.7 inch rotors uh, they're directional so you got one driver so on and so on and also with the, uh, the carbon fiber ceramic brake pads are called they're not the best I found uh, some are better so this this is about it uh, I actually a few hours ago I posted a picture uh, of this setup in the uh, in the garage in the Impala forum um, I'll uh, yeah I'll go outside and show uh, Actually, let me just put a piece of wood before. Yeah, let me put a little birch here. This is in my basement. This is, I have a wood furnace. Winter here is awful. And uh, actually in a few weeks, I'm gonna be putting this house for sale and moving. I wanna move 10 minutes away from the track. <laughs> Currently, I'm an hour away. Uh, one way actually one hour. so every time I go there about 12 15 times a year maybe more it's it's two hours so but I'll show you why I want to move out of the mountains so you guys probably won't believe me so pictures a thousand worth so this is my garage that's why it's not on the floor it's actually a mess right now but here you go. Here's the snow. Even the plug doesn't know where to push it. 
anymore. This is actually my shed in the back, and uh, that's where my summer tires are, so <laughs> I'll probably have to bring a back over here and move some snow because I'll, I'll have to wait until May or June before it all melts. So yeah, so that's why I'm, uh, it's probably the last video I'll do here. And uh, for those who are down south wondering what snow is, though, or a lot of snow because here, uh, I would say I had a hundred inches of snow this year it fell. I don't know, I didn't count it, but it's just horrible. And uh, yeah, so the reason I'm redoing the entire suspension and brakes is I'm gonna be doing other type of race. I'm gonna do a race the runaway. It's uh, it's in, a, in an, an airport in Stittsville. And um, so I'm gonna see how, how much I'm able to do in a half mile, the, the top speed. And I also wanna do a, like road race. I wanna go at least one one day at a track at uh, Kalibogi. So that's why I'm redoing the entire suspension. And this will be the last time I'll probably change the suspension unless something breaks. I'm planning to keep my car at least a few more years. Another mod I'll be doing, but I'm still working on the specs, our cams. I'm going to be working on a custom ground. Uh, right now the uh, Mace are 440 lift and the 210 degrees duration. And uh, what happened is I don't mind not gaining any power under the curve, like under 4,000 RPM. I'm focusing more on top end between 4 to 7. So. I need to rework some numbers and uh, see what I can do to improve, uh, you know, the MP uh, uh, miles per hour at, uh, at the end. So I'm not really looking. I already do the 60 footer two second flat, so I'm happy with that. And, and I do that constantly when the, the track is prep, obviously. And when it's not prep, it's 2.2, 2.3 seconds, a 60 footer. So and uh, so far, uh, for the few times I, I put the uh, the G Pro, my best uh, zero to sixty miles per hour was 5.22 seconds. I actually did that often. So I don't know. Maybe uh, with the new setup with the springs in the back, we will help uh, to be five flat or sub. It would be awesome to uh, be a sub five second. But hey, that's always on street tires, full interior, and pump gas. So. Uh, anyway guys, uh, once I'll do the cams, I'll uh, you'll hear from me. Okay, bye